The Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, also known as ISIS, has violated many set-in-stone basic human rights. Throughout the relatively small lifetime of the radical, supposedly Islamic group, they have performed many violations of not only international law, but also ethical and moral rules. ISIS has supported and committed many terrible crimes, such as brutal murder, torture, and rape, against many groups that it does not view as pure, such as gays, Christians, Westerners, and the Yazidi people, which is a religion that combines elements of many major religions. The group has gone so far as to post videos of numerous beheadings and executions on social media. ISIS defectors have said that they were told that any captured women will become Muslim if 10 ISIS fighters rape her. The Islamic State has broken most, if not all, of the basic human rights laws laid out by the United Nations, especially the first article, which states that everyone is born free and equal in dignity and with rights. ISIS members justify their actions by taking select phrases from the Islamic holy book, the Quran. They take these passages and twist them until they can interpret them in such a way that it allows them the freedom to do whatever they wish. One such example is how they repeatedly execute homosexual people claiming that the Quran is against gays. They accuse the person of being gay, and then without giving them a chance to defend themselves, they bring them to the tallest building in the city and throw them off. If they do not have the good fortune to die instantly, they are then stoned to death by the massive crowd that gathers below. Even though ISIS claims that they follow Islam, the Quran and Islam as a whole is a very peaceful religion, denouncing any form of violence many times and telling its followers that God does not forbid you from being good to those who have not fought you in the religion, or driven you from your homes, or from being just towards them. God loves those who are just. <laughs> Non-radical Muslims from around the world denounced this practice and showed that the Quran does not call for the brutal, senseless violence, but instead calls for peace and cooperation. Even in the oppression of a major terror group, the minorities that live in the Middle East continue to live their lives seeking asylum from ISIS, or jo even joining in the war on terrorism themselves. Many of the world powers such as Russia, the United States, and Great Britain have all joined Iraq, Syria, and the rest of the Middle East in fighting the Islamic State. <laughs> Be the